Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lesser Power. Welcome to another Remnant 2 build video. Today I'm bringing you my upgraded Corrupted Savior build. As you know with the DLC, they basically nerfed my last Corrupted Savior build to the, to the ground. So now I'm bringing you my Thousand Cuts Zero Divide version. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the build. Alright, first we're going to knock out the equipment. For my concussion, I'm using the Chilled Steam. This is going to give you 10% extra movement speed. If you're having problems with the Corrupted Savior's Drain, you can use a Fairy Needle to like offset some of the drain on the mod so you can keep your rate of fire up. And um, for the armor, we got the True Crimson Crown. We got the Crimson Guard Plate. We got the Crimson Guard Sabatons and the Crimson Guard Gauntlets. I'm just going for the swag this time. Um, for the Relic, we got the Shielded Heart on use grants of shield for 100% of your max health. We got Mythic Range Critical Hit Chance, Mythic Range Critical Hit Damage, and we got Mythic Range Rate of Fire. For the main gun, we got the Corrupted Savior plus 10. We're still not using the mod, so you don't have to worry about that. For the Mutator, we got the Thousand Cuts plus 10. Um, increases this weapon's critical hit chance and critical hit damage by 0.5% for each shot fired. And it stacks up to 50 times, so you can get up to 25% critical hit chance and 25% critical hit damage. At level 10, this increases this weapon's uh, reload speed by 1% per stack, so you can get up to 50% reload speed, making this uh, setup almost reload instantly. And it's easy to keep the stacks up on a thousand cuts because of the rate of fire on the corrupted savior. Next, we got the Dream Catcher Plus 10 with Dream Wave and Latency. And uh, Dream Wave actually slows enemies down, and Latency helps you proc it even faster. Next, we got the Nebula Plus 10 with Nano Swarm. Nano Swarm applies Corroded, and Corroded gives you even more damage. And then for the Mutator, we got Maelstrom Plus 10. This is going to increase your elemental damage by 10% but also give you more mod power regeneration. Um, if you're new to this setup, you can run the Tech 22 with the Song of Aoife just to slow enemies down to make things a little bit easier. Um, next we got the Braided Thorns, this is going to increase your critical hit chance by 10%. Then we got Zaneas Malice, this is going to give you up to 20% weak spot damage. And next we got the Probability Core, this is going to give you up to 20% crit hit damage. And then we got the Offering Stone. This gives you up to 15% all damage, but if you're fighting a boss with a huge weak spot, just swap it out for the Ring of the Flawed Beauty. Um, next we got the Zero Divide, basically giving you infinite ammo reserves, and then also increasing your range damage by 15%. So the reason I decided to run the Zero Divide instead of the Night Reaver's Grudge is because I kept running out of ammo in like those long boss fights because they nerfed the ammo capacity and the ammo reserves they even nerfed the rate of fire so this really helps out a lot in just taking down those bosses. Alright next I'm gonna knock out the archetypes for running Hunter basically with Hunter's Focus so you can get that 25% range damage and that 25% weak spot damage. Um, next for the prime perk we got dead to rights just so you can refresh your hunter skills you already know that um, Next we got gunslinger with bullet storm This is going to increase your rate of fire by 20% and increase your reload speed by 50% And you combine that with thousand cuts you basically get almost 100% reload speed, which is absolutely insane All right, lastly, we're gonna knock out the traits. We got ammo reserves at level 10. We got fortify at level 10 we got Gifted at level 10 to increase the skill duration for Gunslinger. Um, we got Long Shot at level 10. We got Endurance at level 2. Vigor at level 10. We got Swiftness at level 8. We got Regrowth at level 10. We got Expertise at level 10. Bart Skin is at level 10. We got Footwork at level 10 just so you can aim faster. And lastly, we got Siphoner at level 10. But that's the whole build. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for coming through. Deuces.